Alright guys, what's up? It's Kevin again, and I'm pretty excited because they have finally released an application for the iPhone that is compatible with Windows that allows you to tether your iPhone um, to your computer through Wi-Fi alone. Very, very easy. I know we had this with NetShare, but there was so much crap involved with NetShare. It was so hard to get running that, you know, you really didn't want to deal with it at all. So. Um, I'm going to show you how to tether your iPhone to your PC. That's uh, very simple. First of all, you will need a jailbroken iPhone to do this, and you need to go into Cydia and download an application called PDA Net. Just came out. So go and download PDA Net, um, and I'll show you what you have to do on your computer side. First of all, you're going to bring up Control Panel. And um, I switched to Classic View if you're on Vista. It's much easier. Uh, but you'll see an icon called Network and Sharing Center. You want to go there. And I've already done this once, so um, my connection will already be set up, but I'll, I'll walk you through it. All right, once you get into the Network and Sharing Center, you want to go to Set Up a Connection or Network over here to the left and you're going to set up a wireless ad hoc network a computer to co computer to computer network click next click next I named my network iPhone uh, the security type I put no authentication and um, I click save this network and you're going to click next again and it's going to create the network close that out that's good to go let me connect to a network see this is my iPhone network I'm going to go ahead and, to con and connect to it all right, so um, that's that's the computer in. We might have to come back to the computer, um, but I'm going to go ahead and show you the iPhone part now. All right, guys. So what you're going to do now is go into your settings, and what you want to do is go into your Wi-Fi. Make sure you are connected to your iPhone network. That's the network you just created on your computer. So we're going to connect to that. And next you want to open up your PDA net application and I will tell you that um, mine's gonna act a little bit different you see mine automatically connected because I've already done this before when you first start up this application it's first of all probably gonna tell you to restart your iPhone completely so hold down the power button on top um, until you get the slide across the top of the screen restart your iPhone when it boots back up boot this boot this application back up um, if it doesn't automatically connect like this, computer connected, then you're probably want to you, you're going to want to go back into your computer and um, disconnect from the ad hoc network you created and reconnect to it. And right when you reconnect, um, restart the PDA application. But um, once you connect to your PC, you will get computer connected. Um, I've got 3G. Oops, sorry about that. I've got 3G on right now. So, um, you know, I've got a 3G connection connected to my PC. And so uh, what I'll do now is just go through and surf to a few pages, show you that it actually works. Um, I'm pretty excited. Okay, so we're back to the computer. Um, you'll notice that I am green all the way through. Uh, my PC is connected to the iPhone, and I am connected to the Internet. Joy. All right, so now what I'm going to do is bring up, uh, let's see, I'm on YouTube right now. Uh, let's go to home. Let's load up my blog. Load it up fairly fast. That's This is on the 3G connection. Uh, this is my blog, by the way. Check it out. The uh, link will be in the video description. But, um, yeah, this is PDA Net. It works very well. Go to my Gmail account. And as you can see, loads up really fast. Um, you know, 3G connection for your computer. Um, for you guys that don't have, um, you know, access to Wi-Fi in a spot, hey, load up PDA Net, and uh, you've got Wi-Fi right away. So, like I said, very excited about this because um, this is the first PC application that's actually easy to use. Uh, so, 
follow my guide. Like I said, um, I, had a, I had a little bit of trouble connecting at first. If it doesn't connect, go back to your computer, disconnect from the ad hoc network you created, reconnect, and then restart the PDA Net program, and uh, you should connect right away. So that's PDA Net, guys. Um, if you like my video, subscribe. Shoot me some comments. If you're having some troubles getting it to work, um, I'll help you out. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.